Kieran Sagleño sends a left foot across. What a best of headers from the left back. This is the opener for Amina Sharks. Michel Sapon returns to the Akraspa Stadium and scores against the Crown Lions. It is Elvina Shaq leading at 64 minutes at the Accra Sports Stadium. It's 1 0. Yeah, the first goal of the campaign. Scored by a player who won the, the medal for the champions, had to fuck Michel Sapon. And like I said, it's, it's in this space. We're back on Warmer Plus. We heard from Dr. Prince Pambo, but we have two more guests joining us on the show. We have Akofa from Star Times as well as Shaban Mohammed. And he says, I should call him Mo, and he is a sports journalist. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Mo, are you happy with Accra Lions' performance? Well, I'm very happy. Um, newly promoted club, and sometimes you look at the history back in our Premier League. Whenever we have newly promoted clubs, you struggle. To, to play the league, especially when you've not done signings from the Premier League clubs. You look at the signings, they did 11 players, 17 years, 18 years, old players, and then their coach, Rena Kraft, doesn't have enough experience on the Ghana Premier League. Yes, they were a good side in the Division One League. Coming into Premier League, a lot of expectations on them because they are well-branded team. They know they're in and out. They look very composed. Yesterday, I watched them. I enjoyed their play. And also, right um, from the beginning, yes, I enjoyed their play. What, did, what they lack is a players who put the balls at the back of the net, and they were punished by Elmina Sharks because they weren't that experienced side. And that is what has been um, been the problem of newly promoted clubs. And I'm looking forward to see Gold Stars, RTU, and how they are going to gel up. Also how they are going, there. yes, yeah. Before uh, Accra Lions are going to struggle, one because of the venue, it's a new track grounds. Everybody would come and play their best of games, and that would be a problem for um, Accra Lions. But I'm looking forward for, for them to, to get that team that will compete competitively and at least maintain their spot around the eighth position or ninth position. But Mo, Elmina Sharks, would you say they let their guard down? Because like you said, they took the lead early, punished Accra Lions, but about 81 minutes into the game and Accra Lions found the equalizer, Elmina Sharks should know better, surely. Well, yes, um, Elmina Sharks should know better, but um, considering Elmina Sharks, I think they, they did well. Last season, it took them a game against Kumasi Asante Kotoko to avoid relegation. And coming into this season, their top man, Benjamin Bernard Boateng, has left to Egypt. And you look at the team they were coming up with, the likes of Michel Sapon and mm -hmm. Dominic Eshen, who were former players of Hatu Folk. And you look at how they come in, Ni or Dati Lamte, having experience over the league. Remember 2012, 2013 with 11 wise, he knows the in and out of the Premier League. So I was looking forward for a change in the team. And pr probably yesterday, they played up to expectations. I think we would have to discuss something about the ball because you look at how uh, the goalkeeper Isam jumped, who the ball the ball left, and then the uh, striker punished him. So I think um, yesterday I really enjoyed it, but um, I would want to hear from the players on the tempo ball and how they are going to express their views on the ball. But it was a good game. But in the history of Ghana Premier League, two seasons ago, the 2020-2021 season, we saw the first game ending 1-1. Brecum Chelsea, Leg uh, Legon Cities, and then the away team scored first. And then this time around, the away team, Elmina Shark, scored first. Same venue, Accra Sports Stadium. So history has repeated, repeated itself. itself. Akofa, I mean, enough of the, of the football. <laughs> so let's, let's go into... Akofa, you really... <laughs> let's, 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 let's go into, into broadcasts. And yesterday, you know, uh, the first game was, was live. Everybody enjoyed it. It's the start of many. Yes, it is indeed. Um, for us at Star Times, like we always say, the Ghana Premier League is the only league that matters. And so we're committed to pushing the brand, the GPL brand. Uh, since we partnered the GPL or the Ghana Football Association in 2016, mm -hmm. um, we've always wanted to push the GPL brand, give it a commercial clout on television. And uh, that's what we've been doing. Last season, we brought to viewers 133 live games on television. Mm -hmm. Now, that has never happened before. Amazing. Um, and so we are busy working. This season, we've promised 150 live games, and we're mm -hmm. going to do it. Right. We've started, uh, we started yesterday with Accra Lions versus um, Sharks. Sharks. And uh, today, we have um, Dreams versus um, Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Yeah. Tomorrow, we have Accra House of Oak versus Legon Cities, and then in the 
evening at six, we have RTU, the new entrance versus um, Olympics. I am particularly <laughs> excited about that game. Yeah. Um, we at Star Times have uh, promised all fans, all football clubs, that um, it is in our interest to promote every club. Mm -hmm. And so we want to give every club um, a good measure of exposure on television. Right. So we're promising our fans, US, that we're going to go to every club's home and bring them some matches from their match venues. And of right. course, it will be a good balance. And that's what we're doing this season. Wouldn't it be challenging, though, given that you're doing more games this season and having to touch farther venues like BBNE, like Tamale? Indeed, it's going to be very challenging. Our job has been challenging from day one. And uh, it's what we sign up for. And so we're going to do that. Right. Tamale, especially, is a bit tough. We've had to fly our crew. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's so much. But we also have said that we are poised and we are going to invest in the Ghana Premier League. This season, we're putting in as much as 1 million USD mm -hmm. um, on production and promotion of the league. Wow. And so we're going to go everywhere. Uh, every club, we're going to go to their home and bring games live to viewers on Decoder and on the Star Times app as Amazing, well. amazing. Big season uh, uh, upon us at the moment. Star Times giving us the best right here on the Ghana Premier League. So tomorrow, the games, uh, Real Tamale United, Agreed Olympics, and then Hearts of Oak, Legon City is all on TV tomorrow. Exciting. Very, very, exciting. very, very exciting. Now, Shaban, I, I want to come to the Kumasi Asante Kotoko in Dreams game before we move on to RTU. How important is this starter for Kumasi Asante Kotoko? Because remember, last season, they fell short of the Champions League, at, I mean, the Ghana Premier League title. How, how, how is it going into this game? Well, I'm going into the game. A lot of expectations on Kumasi Asante Kotoko. First, they changed their coach, Dr. Prosper Natyogum, last season. Um, he, he was with um, Wafa and they were third on the league log and that was interesting because um, taking over Wafa, a small club whose uh, purpose is to sell players because the likes of August and Boachi have all left the club. So um, using that team to, I mean, be on the third position was something interesting. Taking over Kumasa Sante Kotoko, a lot of expectations on him too. Kotoko have done a lot of signings. Now, um, based on the research, I've realized that Kotoko couldn't win the league. You look at the table. 61 points out to 57 Kumasa Sante Kotoko. They lost the league because of lack of squad in depth. Because um, they had their first 11, but they don't have enough players who could help them um, when there's injury. So you saw Christopher Knight, Patrick Asma all playing as uh, forwards in the last season's league. So this game becomes very important for them. And you look at the signing, Stephen Amankuna, a top star, Mfegu, you look at Mbella, are all good strikers from Cameroon. Stephen Amankuna from Brooklyn Chelsea scored 10 goals last season for the team. So um, he obviously, he's a top player. And they lack defensive midfielder. They brought in Richard Buidu from Media Mass Sporting Club. He's also going to play very well. They have a good team now around. And then you look at this Dreams FC team. For Dreams FC, I think in the last two seasons, they are yet to lose a game, their first game. Last year, we saw them join Zero Zero at Craftsport Stadium. Last two seasons, they beat Kane Faisal by four goals to one in their first game. So we are but looking forward finally, to Finally, there's the scoreline for you, briefly. Well, um, Kotoko uh, <laughs> stands as favorite for me. Yes. So what, 1 0, 2 0? Probably 2 1. 2 1, okay, yes. definitely. Right, so, um, uh, Shaban, uh, I, I hear you have a book, yes. a book launch. When is that? That's Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, it's called GPR Statistics Book. Okay. Yes, and um, I did this book, when, you know, in the history of Ghana Premier League, I think from 1956. I've not seen any journalists compiling the assist data of the league because we have players who are making impact. Okay. And that is why. So, so where's the venue? Um, at at Media Village. That is where I work. So okay, all right. There. So, so we'll, be there, we'll be there to support you. Thank you so much. Akova. Thank you so much also. Thank you, and, uh, thank you. Thank I you just to want to yes. um, remind viewers that mm -hmm. um, if you want to watch the Ghana Premier League this season, you need to get your Star Times decoder right. or the Star Times on app. Right. You can also link your decoder to the app so you can be on the go and watch the games wherever you may be. Most certainly. That's a Akofa there, joining us from Star Times. And also Shaban Mohammed. We'll take a break. When we come back, there's more on the show. Don't go away. <laughs>